Kia ora bros, and welcome to VDB TV. I'm your host, VDB, and we have another 2 vs 2 qualifiers match between Team 12 and Team 37. Team 12, Team 37 on Fallen Dell version 4. Team 12, we have Pro High Gain as the Cortex Commander here, and his teammate, Pro Elma Fudd. A little bit of a Cartoon Network throwback there. Might be Wabbit Hunter for the rip. <clears throat> oh god, excuse me. Oh, excuse me while I die. And for the red team, we have Michachu uh, Amada Bots and his teammate Pseudo Panda Cortex Bots. Looks like Elmer Fudd's going bots as well. The bots all round. It's getting quite interesting. We're coming up to the end of the qualifier rounds. I think there's only a couple more qualifier games to go. And then we'll be into the main event. Very, very excited. Very excited. See, good luck, have funds from everybody except for Pseudo Panda. Pseudo Panda gonna do some cheeky, cheeky strats where you don't say good luck, have fun. Some sort of cheese, maybe? Here's yellow. Pretty stock standard opener for me. Maybe, maybe he just didn't type it because he's too too focused on the game. Oh my fud! Getting out some grunts first. He does have one construction bot out? No grave robber from Elma Fud. His teammate Pro High Gain got a construction bot building the cheeky LLT up on the cliff. Good defense. A couple of ticks will come in. One mix will go down. Good work from Michachu here. Nice, nice assault. Keeping high gain on his toesies. Looks like Elma Fudd will shut down some early harass from his um, lane mate. His opponent, I guess you could say, is an easier way of saying it. Pseudo Panda. Looks like this tick will be cleaned up by a pro high gun. Little skirmish here on the eastern side of the map. Pseudo Panda coming out on top it seems. Although still losing a mix. Might lose his constructor if he's not careful. Oh, excuse me, I have something stuck in my throat. I will be right back. Back. It's like Pseudo Panda getting quite a few kills with these grunts. Four kills total. It'd be nice to see him bring these back to his base to repair them. Give them another shot. Meanwhile, Elma Fudd coming straight in the front door, getting another constructor bot. And the tower? A little bit of a targeting issue there from Elma Fudd. If he had targeted down the grunt or the tower, he would have would have got something there. Decent sized little army coming across from Michachu. Very heavy on the offensive here from Michachu. Meanwhile, High Gain expanding. First commander out of his base, it seems. Elma Fudd looking to get a D gun off here. And they will dodge it. Whoa. Fair amount of damage from Michachu there. The lower true score players here, putting a bit of pressure on the, the pro team here. Will the pressure last? Will the pressure make them crack? Will they be turned to diamonds or will they crumble to dust? We shall see, we shall see. More pressure coming in from the front, Pseudo Panda. Doing some absolute Damage to Elma Fudd here. Oh lord. Elma Fudd. It's gotta be very, very quiet. Does have a decent sized army, but has bugger all economy. Lucky like he's taken a couple of mixes up top here. Looks like a little skirmish here on the northeast side between High Gain and Pichachu. 
Chachi with superior numbers, it seems. 13 vs 12, just superior. Evening up soon. Nice spread from high gain here. Pawns versus grunts. So you'd need a lot more than just one extra pawn. As you can see here, the grunt's still on 13. Cortex OP. As you see there, they had even, but Cortex coming out way on top in that battle. Drawing Pseudo Panda up and out of his base to the north side. Meanwhile, Alma Fudd. Realizing that he's out of his out of position, trying to come in for a sneaky attack. Very good play by the red team here. They are doing very very well. The only problem is they haven't moved very far out of their base. While high gain, managing to secure these top mixes. Actually, they've secured the center, which Elma Fudd has, but they've it's it's pretty even here. High gain getting some extra metal income. Very even um, economies here. Some rocket bots out for high gain. Not sure if it's going to be enough to stop this push. Oh, it's surrounded by high gain. Get that bonus damage, and it will be cleaned up. That was very nice defense by high gain there. That is, that is textbook defense. Get, get the surround. You know, come from two different sides. Get the bonus damage. A little bit of a raiding party by Alma Fudd, that will get cleaned up quite easily, but the raiding party from the west side comes straight through, manages to get into Pseudo Panda, doing the damage that was done to him. That was well played. Will he get past? Will he get the mix? He won't go for the mix. That will be cleaned up. Not before considerable damage has been done to Pseudo Panda here. This is an exciting game, this one. Red team doing very well. Blue team, amazing defense at the start. Elma Fudd managing to come back from that devastating attack early on. Pseudo Panda down but not out. Let's see, is High Gain gonna swing in to finish Pseudo Panda off while his army's busy with Elma Fudd, or will he go straight in from Ichachu? He does see the commander. We'll go in for these mixes down here, most likely getting them. Oh, a little bit of a micro mismanagement, I think, from high gain. He did get the mixes, but he didn't get the guard tower. The guard tower getting seven kills. A little bit of a skirmish here from Panda. That will go down. Elma Fudd winning with the pawns against the grunts. He has some grunts of his own. Not sure if they were shared or revived. Does he have a... Oh, he does. He's got a little army of grave robbers, which look like they're coming in. Oops, excuse me. Coming in to revive everything anyway, so he will have a little army of grunts. Supplementing his four armada forces with those OP Cortex grunts. Oh, high gain. I missed it. I'm such a terrible caster. Highgate coming with his commander and just wiping out Michachu. My lord, what a play. Highgate should probably just come in here and pop bomb the enemy commander. I don't know why he's walking away from him. He tries to go invisible. Pulls it off. Oh my god, and he gets the commander kill. Very well played. Very, very well played from Highgate there. Now it's just a 2 vs 1. Chachu losing his last unit to an LLT. <laughs> Let's check out the LLTs per minute on this map. 14. Oh, high gain. We'll go down now. It's just a 1v1 on the commanders, but high gain still has a base. Big force coming in for Alma Fudd here. Grunts versus Grunts. One more alive, but who cares about the one? Needs to spread these guys. Does eventually. Oh, Panda, getting a D gun off. Doesn't want to D gun and destroy his factory. A little bit out of position there. Well, oh, Alma Fudge just having numbers here. Servo Panda not having enough D gun. He's got enough for one more D gun, but it will go down. 
might get another FUD in game one. See you guys in the next game. Oh, welcome back to this qualifiers game. Team 12 and Team 37 on Comet Catcher Remake version 1.8. See both teams going for the set of spawns here. Lovely, lovely. Chachu, Armada, vehicles it seems. It's just, it's, I don't know if it's OCD, but I hate it when there's a building like this straight in front of where you're building a factory. I hope he spins that factory before he builds it. I hope to dear God, or I'm just not going to be able to look at it. His teammate, Pseudo Panda, Armada vehicles. I think, was he Armada? He was, yeah, so two Armada on the right side here. High gain going Cortex, not sure what he's going yet. And his teammate, Elmified Armada. So high gain, the up one out. Cortex vehicles. Elmified going Armada vehicles here. Let's check these openers from the blue team here. So we got two solar collectors a piece, a LLT, and three mixes. Elmafud getting his factory up slightly faster. Looks like Pseudo Panda has a unit coming across map already. That will be a rover. Once their factories are down, they go straight to another solar collector here. Looks like a scout unit coming out for Alma Fudd and a construction vehicle coming out for High Gain. Construction vehicle will be the second thing built for Alma Fudd. Stalling out on energy, so he goes into a solar collector. High Gain also stalling out on energy, so he starts building another solar collector. That brings it to four apiece here. Looks like that rover will get some scouting done. But he will go down to the LLT. Let's see if Alma Fudd's scout unit appears any better. After the first construction bot, it's a scout unit for high gain. And another scout unit. And another scout unit. And another scout unit. And another scout unit. I'm pretty sure there's a... is it space? It's an old space. There you go. There you go. So now we can see what they're actually building in order. Sorry about that. I was just trying to figure out the hotkeys there. Looks like High Gain's going for another solar collector while Alma Fudd's pushing up to get a mix and some more solar collectors up the front and another mix. You can see he's got, uh, High Gain's got another constructor bot followed by some more scouts. Then another constructor bot followed by some incisors followed by yet another constructor bot. Meanwhile, Alma Fudd's got a few constructor bots coming out. Looks like he's done the same thing. Must be on repeat. He's not on repeat, he's just clicked this himself. Constructor bot, three incisors, constructor bot, three incisors. And then repeated with five incisors the second time. Scout's still alive up north. Looking to get some damage done. High gain. Takes out the mix. The absolute cheek on him. The construction vehicle will give up for now. We'll turn back and start building that mix. Now that he's protected by a couple of blitzes, these blitzes should be enough to take, take care of these rovers. Unless the rover, unless he's not paying attention here, and he's not paying attention. Oh no! Construction bot's going to go down here unless he notices. And it indeed does go down before he notices, just as he notices, and it doesn't build the metal extractor. Look at that, it must be milliseconds from being done. 96% there. Very nice micro from the blue team here. A couple blitzes coming across the map towards Elmafud. Looks like empty build order for high gain. While Alma Fudd's still working on those constructors. Four, I think one of those is... Yeah, so he's got four already. He's absolutely pumping them out. Not stalling on anything though, so he's, he's definitely got his build order down. 
did get there to really expand, but it looks like High Gang got more expand because he's using his spot to expand south while this is all happening. But I'd like to see Michachu coming with some units like to harass the southwestern side. There is no LLTs here. Lord, 1% on Alma, that's very close. 5%, 6% sorry on Pseudo Panda. Construction bots gone down. Will they get the mix before they did? They will get that mix. Pseudo Panda and Elmer. Oh, going for the snipe on Elmer. 1% <laughs> again. This lad. This absolute lad. This Chad lad. No fudge is given. He's still just pushing forward, building LLTs. We need to get a repair on this man. He's got construction bots coming out. I mean, construction vehicles. There is no repair bot for the armada um, vehicles. So he's going to need a construction bot to repair him. If, if he's going to repair at all, he's just going to naturally heal. See, Pseudo Panda's on 13% here. Alma Fudd. And High Gang getting into the Yellows factory. Getting in nice and close here. A LLT will come up. Will it be enough to drive off this force? Seems like it's not. Dangerous situation here for Pseudo Panda. He's losing a lot of constructive bots here and the economy. See, he's stalling out on energy now, he just doesn't have the economy to keep building units. High Gang going to try and take out this factory before the commander comes in. Looks like they're going to get it. That they will factory goes down, that's pretty much all he needs. You can bail out of there or you can just sacrifice these guys. Looks like he's going to try and make it around the crater, but it looks like he won't make it around the crater. Lethal damage here to Pseudo Panda. that's putting him very far behind. You can see the blue team's got quite a lot. You can see the resources tab is starting to get a little out of control. Michachu hasn't really moved from where he is. I don't know what he's doing here. His commander's not doing a whole lot. He does have an energy converter up. It's an extra one middle, but I'd like to see his commander moving around. There you go. Not sure where he's going. There you go, he's going to start. Nope. I don't know what he's doing. He's going to use a pot to build these la uh, these mixes. A little bit too much downtime there for Michachu's commander and constructor bots. Let's see. Looks like he's just on repeat. No. Nope. Looks like he's just building some blitzers. Oh, excuse me, how do I have Mega? Building some blitzers. Pseudo Panda getting a constructor bot and a bunch of stouts up. A whole bunch of stouts about to come out for Alma Fudd, and he has the resources to pump them out very quickly. Looks like he's expanding. He's expanding. Looks like he's expanding up the top at the same time. High gain defending his center line here. And his southern. A little bit late on this raid here from Michachu, I would have liked to have seen this a bit earlier. See, see if he can get past these blitz is going to serve him better, trying to slip past these stouts instead of trying to fight them head on. So he's going to be bringing a whole bunch more out to try and cut off this raid from high gain, if it indeed is a raid. Meanwhile, from the north side, Alma Fudd's coming around behind Pseudo Panda. See if he's gonna he's gonna snipe this <laughs> construction bot. I can, uh, construction vehicle, sorry, I keep calling it a bot. MVP LLT, can it defend against these six blitzers? These blitzers could almost come straight down here and wipe out Michachu's base. There's not a whole lot of defense here, just one LLT. Those stouts are probably gonna be driven back. Back. Those blitzes could have slipped straight past here, but there is a lot of LLTs here. What is the LLT per minute in this game? 18. In 9 minutes is 2. 2 LLTs. LLT PM is 2. Looks like Alma Fudd has decided to go for the attack on Michachu, and he does in fact clear out his economy here. Both players on the red team have lost their economy now. Having to rebuild it does get the factory. Even if he loses all those, well worth it. 
looks like Suda Pando is just coming back online now. Almost 10 minutes into the game though, that gives you a severe... What gives Blue Team a severe head start? Not sure what the opposite of a head start is. Looks like Michachu trying to build a vehicle plant at the front line again. Needs to get his economy back up and running, like Pseudo Panda did. Although well, Pseudo Panda has all this metal here. One and a half K metal, that's a lot of metal. He could suck all this metal up and use it to produce units, but he just doesn't have much build power at the moment. His build power is busy trying to expand to what should already have been expanded. Blue team just taking that map control to a whole nother level. Michachu calling the GG and he will resign. I'm pretty sure the rules state that. Here we go. There is the GG. High gain and Elephant will go on to the next round. 